Another example of using events in the real world. Imagine that you have a, a channel clipping on a bank that we can't see. We have a lot of channels on this desk. So imagine that we're on a bank, I can't see it, there's something happening. I need to be informed that something's happening. In fact, I can even auto gain the channel that's clipping. So let's, let's have a little explanation of that. So I've, I've, I've got a channel here that says me. I'm going to turn the gain up to maximum because I know I'm going to clip that channel in a second when I shout down this mic. Okay, so to, to show you how this works, I'm going to choose another channel. So I'm not even looking at the channel, I've attention another channel. I'm going to go to the plugins page. And now I'm going to shout down the microphone that um, we just saw me over again. Here we go. So there we saw it. What happened? We we went from the the plugins page to the inputs page. The channel was attention that was clipping. The desk lights flashed, and auto gain the guest gain was in was engaged and it corrected the gain level down to a point where it was not clipping. Okay, so let's go to the events list and see how we made that happen. So here we are on the events page, and we're looking at the clip auto gain event that we created. Over on the left, I made a new event, I called it clip, and here is my trigger, which says any channel meter above plus 16. That's gonna trigger my event. I have four actions from the event. I have a flash console light bar to let me know in no uncertain terms that I have a problem. I'm gonna set trigger attention on and latch. That means when the action is above plus 16, the channel will be attentioned. It will also change the view mode to the input space so I can see which channel has been attentioned. And the last thing is that the gain guess will be turned on whilst this trigger is actually meaning whilst the meter is above plus 16 the gain guess will be on and if, as soon as it drops below 16 the gain guess will be off okay let's see how we get to all of these triggers and actions so any channel meter above plus 16 i'm going to delete that and start from fresh so it's a meter action um is any channel meter above I just double click here and type in 16 on the keyboard. So there's my trigger. Here are my actions. Flash console light bar. I'm gonna delete that and find it for you again. Add is down here, flash console light bar. The second one, set triggered strip attention on latch. Okay, so on a trigger strip attention on is a switch. I'm gonna delete that. And we'll find that here, under set control switch. It's gonna be the trigger switch because I want this to happen to whatever channel clips. Trigger switch. I don't want to mute it. I want to attention it. And I want it to be on and latch. I just want it to go on. I just want the, the channel to be attentioned when I do that. Okay, change view mode inputs page. I'll delete that one and, and show you where to find it. Add, you will find here the change view mode and here you'll find inputs page. And then the last one, um, of course, remember this is only us giving you an idea. You, you could happily do this without flashing the console lights and maybe even without the game guess but being able to see the attention channel that's clipping on the inputs page, that's probably a really good thing to have. So here we go. Let's find this one. Set triggered gain guess on while active. And delete that. Gain guess again is a switch. So set control switch, trigger strip. The default is mute, of course. It's part of the input. And there it is, gain guess. I don't want to on and latch, or then because then the gain guess will just stay on. I'm going to make it whilst active. So there we have it. There's my auto clip event.